This is an incense burner. And see, it has big holes down at the bottom, right? The smoke will come out of all the tiny dragon holes in their mouths. And so they have holes in their ears, too. It's painted kind of crappy, but I kind of want to get it and repaint it. Yeah. What do you think? Should we get into the incense thing? I feel like I want to buy this. The incense is not very expensive. Hmm. Choices, choices. So we got this cool incense burner. It's amazing. And the ears also have smoke that comes out. But I don't really want the ears to have smoke that comes out. So I'm taking some of this um, air dry modeling clay. Do you want to help me, Zoe? Yeah. Air dry, so it dries in the air. I also brought a wet Q-tip so I can kind of smooth it out. My plan is to repaint these guys yeah so that they look a little brighter you look like paint some of them green or like rainbow or something yeah i think i'll paint each head a different color a different kind of gradient of color the body will be one color and the heads will be different colors how do you like you need a q-tip so we got five heads and some wings and a tail yeah, there's also some holes down here. Yeah. <laughs> Two of the dragons have holes. This one though, yeah, this one's got some smoke that comes out and this one definitely gets a lot of smoke. But these three, the mouth holes are completely sealed up. Oh, sealed up? Yeah. Like they tried to drill a hole just to make it. So you see this guy right here. Open. Open. Closed. And um, also closed. Yep. So I'm drilling holes that are a little bigger. Ta da! <laughs> When I started painting, I found more and more imperfections that I needed to fix. There were these small balls of plastic that were stuck on the faces and around the horns of the dragons and some filaments of plastic that needed to be ground down because they created some strangeness. Also, when I was done painting, the eyes still looked a little tired, so I ended up adding some black liner around each of the eyes to help open them up and give them a more whimsical look instead of a creepy tired look. Some of the acrylic paints I used had a matte finish and some had a gloss finish so I ended up using Mod Podge to seal it and to give the eyes a larger shape I gave it several coats of Mod Podge around the eyes I feel like the bright pink dragon head really gives it a circusy sort of appearance, maybe more girly and pretty than I was planning on. I might repaint that pink dragon with a dark red in a year or so, but for now I really like the way it turned out and I think it looks fun and whimsical. I feel like the scales look really beautiful on the back and the pearlescent top coat on the wings turned out really nice. So I'm pretty happy with it. And that was supposed to be the end of the video, but I realized I didn't show anyone how it actually looks when it's burning. So I lit four incense cones and put them inside just to see what it looked like. And it looks pretty good. The blue and the green 
dragons have the most smoke coming out and the others have just a little, but they are open to having some incense come out. I think it looks pretty cool while it's burning. I'm burning dragon's blood here, the scent, but to be honest, they all smell like soap to me. The smoke is supposed to be cleansing the air or something like that. Um, I don't really know much about incense, and I don't know if I believe that this is cleansing the air. After doing some reading, I found that the particulates in the smoke are actually bad for people, so I'm probably going to close up this room until it's done burning, about 30 to 40 minutes, and then I'll let the air conditioner clear it out. I'm happy with how it turned out, and I think that it's nice to look at.